Широка страна моя родная, Много в ней лесов, полей рек. Я другой такой страны не знаю, Где так больно, My friend Kole is a great patriot, you know? And he's a wonderful cook. And today we are spending time at Dacha. My dear viewers, nice to see you. I'm Marina and today we celebrate Orthodox Easter the best holiday of all of almost all Russian people and I spent time not far from Moscow in a small village Romashkovo I visit my friends and we are going to cook barbecue are you with me I want to show you just a real relaxed life without any any plot as before just be with me and relax uh, we decided to buy lamb for today barbecue. The price of lamb is uh, about eight dollars per kilo, but the bonus here is really fantastic. Yeah, I see the bone is is really small there. So we have chosen this piece of lamb. See, Russian women are very strong. They can easily use the eggs. This is really small market and we need some vegetables. An onion and cabbage and potato and tomato for cooking. And all Russians are fond of drinking this traditional beverage, as you see, it's with uh, uh, fruit and berries, and the price is 500 rubles, approximately seven dollars for three liters. And wonderful, wonderful pickled tomatoes and cucumbers. I remind you that we buy everything today in a small village not far from Moscow. And this is the section of wines. Crimean wines are very popular now. and wines from all parts of, of the world, I see here. Mostly from Chile and Italy. Now what about prices? So, five, six, seven dollars, not much. And a great deal of Russian vodka, as usual. But we buy juices, not alcohol drinks. Mmm, have a look at this equipment for garden. I hope this is new. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, what do we have for today? Um, besides lamb. I think it's uh, pork, so only ten dollars for for two kilos. Have a look, it's uh, semi-finished pork, and of course, wonderful bread from Uzbekistan and tomato cherry for salad. Great. And you know, do you know what are we going to do with mushrooms? We would like to bake it wrapped in bacon. It's very tasty, traditional Russian secret. 
and I'm, I'm so relaxed today, you know? I would like you to see the life, the village life, not far from Moscow, as it is. What do we have? Dobri Cola Zero. Very nice replacement of uh, Coca-Cola company. And um, a special bread filled with uh, greens. Very, very tasty. And what else? It's uh, a holiday. It's Easter today in Russia. And we have eggs and a special Easter pie. And you know what is this? Very tasty traditional pancakes from cottage cheese. Mmm, nice. We call this Russian Easter pie Kulich. And we we have already started cooking today's wonderful dinner. <laughs> What is he doing? I think he's cutting meat. Mmm, <laughs> lamb. Spring is coming. But do you know what I wear? I still wear Valenki. It's so soft and comfortable. These traditional Russian shoes for winter time. Oh, finally I found out what is this equipment about. So, do you know the name of this dish? This is Kazan. And usually uh, people cook pilaf in this dish. But uh, we're not going to, to cook it today. I think it's gonna be meat with vegetables. Looks wonderful. And the weight of this Kazan is 14 kilos. A lot of sunflower oil. All of you know that Russians like to cook with sunflower oil. Enough, enough. Firewood. Oh. The name of this uh, dish is Damlama. I don't know what it's going to be, truly speaking, but I hope it's to my liking. A little bit soft. Mm, the smell is uh, marvelous. We need two barbecues. One for Damlama. And the second barbecue is for Shashlik. But now it's time to add a lot of onion in our Uzbekistan dish. Ah, наклонитесь, понюхайте. <laughs> it's to my liking. I like watching how guys are cooking. And you, my dear viewers. <laughs> my mouth is watering. <laughs> A long story short. We cut bell pepper and uh, tomatoes. Do you know what it is? Eggplants and potato. And we need one cabbage. That's all. And do you know what is my duty today? Hmm? This is pork. 
and these are skewers. And I'm going to put pork on these skewers. This is our life. Natasha не знала, от кого родила ребенка. От Николая или от или от Димы. Поэтому дала ему отчество Никодимович. Спасибо. The show must go on. And now potato. This dish was created in Uzbekistan. Это же узбекское блюдо, да? I think it's gonna be outstanding. Black pepper and some spices. Now you know the recipe of this Uzbekistan dish. This is something new because eggplants are not included in a recipe, in traditional recipe, but we decided to add a little bit of fresh eggplants. Oh, you know that my friend Kola is opera singer, but unfortunately he doesn't know traditional Uzbekistan songs. That's why he keeps silence while cooking. But sometimes, if you want, he will sing you a Russian song. Oh my gosh. It's time for cabbage. <laughs> the last floor of this Uzbekistan dish. Kazan is something between pan and saucepan, and its capacity is 16 liters. And now, what is Markel doing? I think he wants to make this Uzbekistan bread a little bit warm, and with the smell of fried meat. I think I have to start a new culinary channel for you, my dear viewers, because I adore all this. <laughs> this smell and these perfect dishes from all over the world. Mm. Looks fabulous and breathtaking. <laughs> С одного края держишь, сынок. Вот так. Sunny. Thank you for the telephone. The best lunch in the world. Have a look at this wonderful, wonderful dishes. Oh my God. 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 Oh my